All right, so for this episode, I want to find out uh, the guys who uh, entered the joy boat. Because I've entered every name I can possibly think of and where they all could have gone. Uh, let's also keep in mind that, you know, they were uh, in water shortly followed by, you know, a giant squid attacking. So, it's entirely possible they were just killed by that thing. Uh, so, we're going to try again with the names. First of all, who's left? Uh, I know who he is. We have him, I don't know. I don't know who he is. Don't know who he is. Uh, don't know, don't know. I'm sort of, I don't know who that is either, but, you know, the, the four Chinese guys are... There's some brute forcing to be done there. Of Lewis Walker and Alexander Booth. All right, so he, he's not where he's not from France. He doesn't have an accent. He's probably not the helmsman. That's the wrong outfit. Um, let's okay. We're gonna start with Booth again, and we're gonna assume these guys were killed by the monster. So, uh, they could have been crushed, I guess. So crushed by a beast. We're going we're gonna to go through all of the logical ones that they could have died by. Crushed by a beast. No. Okay, so they weren't crushed by the beast. Again, assuming I have the names right. Uh, well, actually, since I'm fairly certain about two of them, let's just swap Booth around with uh, Walker. Okay, no. Not the case. Uh, burn, Claude, Claude, Decapitate, Adrian. They could have been drowned by a beast. Possible. I imagine Nathan uh, has a bit of investment uh, in Nathan Peters getting out alive on this one. Nope. Swap the names around. Hey! Good? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's Alexander Booth, drowned by a terrible beast. Well, they died. Well, there you go, Nathan. Poor bastard drowned. Your namesake didn't make it out alive. So close! How many have I got? I think I have 48 now. God. Okay, so... I mean, we can probably assume this guy was crushed by a beast. He was up there on the deck with him, and he disappears after that. Uh, and given... These guys are here, meaning their fates are resolved by the end. Um, so it's unlikely they made it into the bargain. Uh, this guy was also probably crushed by a beast. Let's just assume. And, you know, for the record, let's just... Crushed by a beast. If they were on the boat fighting the beast and we don't know what happened, we're going to assume they were crushed by the beast. Is that fair? Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I accomplished this episode's goal in like three minutes, so... Uh, you just start... Okay. Decapitate. I could just start plugging in Chinese names and hope for the best. Which I could probably actually do better uh, on the manifest. Because it'll have them all sort of together. Uh, that guy? Sure. Uh, well, now I need to find all the bastards. Uh, that guy? Sure. And that guy? Sure. Nope. Uh, yeah, okay, this this isn't easier. I'd rather go through the pictures one by one. S interchange the names as I go here. So yeah, I, I looked up one guy, O'Hagan. Uh, but that was to... And I toyed around with the idea of him being O'Hagan, but because I was just... I was lost in the shuffle here, I had no idea... Which one was O'Hagan and which one wasn't. But, you know, 
I do I do specifically remember uh, mentioning that this guy could be O'Hagan. So I don't know, call it call it cheating if you want. I'm not going to. Uh, just gonna start plugging in random Chinese names here. Uh, right, you're the first one I came to, so you're getting the first name. You're the second one I came to, so you're getting the second name. Wow. Okay, who? Enlighten me. All right, so that's Hong Li. And this is Jai Zong. And all the way over here, we have Wei Ling. That means that last guy isn't Chinese. He's just bald. I mean, there's one more Chinese guy? All right, hold on. I have no idea who that is. Uh, he's still a mystery. Um, I'll get plugged in. Okay, so you. You're apparently not Chinese, or you weren't crushed. It's possible you were drowned by a terrible beast. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, like... France, Helmsman, like, England, uh, Persia, Scotland, China, and England. Unlikely he's anything other than China. And, like, in in his portrait, he is hanging out with uh, the Formosa lady and the other Chinese guys, so... Kind of forced to assume. Also, he was not crushed by a terrible beast, apparently, either. So, maybe he was drowned by a terrible beast. That's the other thing. Like, getting exactly what the game wants is tricky. He was shot by... Who's this last Chinese guy? Which one was he? Li Hong. Okay. So I'm going to say he was shot by Li Hong. Shot by... China. China, China. Li Hong. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's right. So who is left? You. What nationality do you scream? Not quite France, not quite England, not quite Scotland. Hmm. How did you die? You're on the boat. He was just speared. Uh... I could try plugging him in, I guess. See if anything pops up. Nothing pops up. Damn it! Uh, might have to go back and re-examine that. Okay, we'll try you. Uh, I mean, he's dressed like he could be a helmsman. I'm gonna assume, because of the way he's dressed, this is a helmsman. He is also... I don't know, that might be the helm, I don't know. But, I'm gonna assume he's the helmsman. It's also possible the Chinese guy was devoured by a beast. We have him as crushed. It's possible him and the guy in the turban could be devoured by the beast. You never know. Possible they tripped and fell overboard, or drown, or fucking you know, bash their heads open. I don't know. So let's have them as devoured or eaten. Okay, that checks out. And eaten. Nope. Huh, is there anything else they could have done? Guess he could have been strangled or struck by it. No. Hooves, tail, or wing. Uh. Nothing has wings. Could have been strangled by a terrible beast? It's possible. I don't know. Meh. Um. Unknown soul was crushed by a terrible beast. Could also just brute force him. And everyone else is solved up there. Uh. Nope. 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 Maybe he's the helmsman. I don't know. 
Look, we're getting to the point where I'm running out of options here. Like, I could just list every possible name with all their deaths. I'm pretty sure he's right. Like, I'm 90% sure this guy is right. Everyone else I'm not so sure about. I mean, hell, this could be... No, he can't be the... He was on the boat. The one dude stopping me from being on the dam. Getting this chapter done, I tells you. <sighs> All right, I, I need to look another one up. I uh, I'm gonna look the Chinese guy up in this guide, so I should find his name. Actually, yeah, well, let's. I shouldn't. I shouldn't just look up people I have no idea, and it's like, aha, now I know. So, I'm going to look up a guy I'm pretty sure I know, which is to say, the Chinese guy, and possibly dude in the turban here. If, you know, the Chinese... Okay, Li Hong. Li Hong. Oh! Well, alright, apparently Baldi is not the Chinese guy. The Chinese guy is, are you ready for this? This guy. Which I guess, if I thought about it, makes a bit of sense. Because there is somebody who's new Chinese on the boat and translated it back to them. <sighs> but then who is this bald guy? I suppose I should put them back as being crushed by Terrible Beast. Him and the guy in the turban. Crushed. By a beast. And you are also... Crushed by a beast. But then who the hell are you? Are you the bosun's mate? No. Are you the helmsman? No. Are you Scottish? No. Are you English? No. Ah, <laughs> why? <laughs> Curse you. Alright. Let's look up Omed Ghoul here. You, you can say I'm giving up at this point, but, you know, I feel like I've done good work. Okay, so, I had it right, but it turns out he was drowned by it. Terrible beast. Which means I should make this guy also drowned by a terrible beast. And probably while I'm at it, this guy drowned by a terrible beast. Let's just be fair. But, uh, yeah, alright. Let's pop in all the fucking nationalities. He's the bosun's mate? Never have gotten that. Three more fates correct. Bloop. <sighs> I kind of feel, for things like that, I kind of feel like it's fair because I knew who he was. I got the turban guy right, but... I would have just stood around plugging in how he could have died by the stupid beast until I got the right answer. Alright, so who's left? Uh, this guy. Oh, okay. Hold on. We can rock it over to him because we know he was shot by the bosun's mate. dum de dum de dum Yep, there he was. So, you were shot by Bosun's mate, Charles Minor. That's my final answer on the riddle of that guy. Okay, so... We're gonna plug in... This guy never spoke. 
but given who is left there, we have... It's not him. Stuart is elsewhere. He's elsewhere. This is the only page left, so... We still need the fates of... One of these guys dies in the bargain. It's probably the Helmsman, if I'm being perfectly honest. Which means I'm gonna bet these two are the dudes I don't know. Well, I mean, the first mate made it, though. Maybe it, maybe he is the... I don't know. Let's put him as the Helmsman. Who else is there? Up oh, this guy. Uh, Lewis Walker, why not? And who's the... Th I'm just going to swap the names around until it gives it to me, so... Yeah. Okay, well... Guess the names were wrong, because I'm pretty sure that guy is right. So you're not Lewis Walker. That means you might be Timothy Butman. Nope. Are you, per perchance, this guy? Yep. Two more fates, correct? I mean, what about this guy? I can just plug it in. They're really going to make me work for it. God damn it. Well, he's one of the topmen. Alright, so he's this unknown topman. Because we know who that is, and we know who that is, but we don't know how they died. They're not even in the book. And I have no idea who Lewis Walker is, or Timmy. That's... Who am I missing? Let's go to the... Sneaky bastard gave me two more. That way there was still some challenge in the final chapter. Alright, let's go to the front of the book here. Who am I missing? Let's see these sketches. Okay, so starting up here. Yep, yep. Looking for people who don't have... An unknown. So this guy. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I mean, I could just... I'm gonna bet he's Topman. And the other guy's also a Topman. Do I just swap them around if this isn't right? Shame they're so damn far away. Okay, whoop, dip, dip, dip. Swap them around. Help if I could remember which damn chat. Okay, he's in murder. Uh, there it is. All currently solvable fates correct. Timothy Butman, Topman, shot with gun. And Lewis Walker, Topman, clubbed. All right. I only looked up a couple. There's nothing left to do on the Oberdin. Right. <clears throat> Let's turn this book in. I'm excited to see what the book looks like, actually. I When we, like, turn it into the East India Trading Company. I love that sort of thing, and I skipped through it last time because did, I didn't even have, like, half the answers. So, now we're going to go and see what a completed book looks like. We should. Go. We should. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. All right. I'm looking forward to this. I love this shit. So what happened in the bargain? Only two people left. I thought it was giving me, like, the two because it wanted the bargain to still be a challenge, but I didn't realize I still had some topmen to identify.
So you can, you know, rant and rave about how I cheated in the comments if you want. I feel like I needed the help. And even with it, I still feel like I did pretty well. One week later. Huh, the Honorable East India Company, insurance assessment for the good ship Oberdin, victims of calamitous events at sea, that's putting it lightly, prepared by the company office of investigation, or COI. Ship, damaged in Squall Atlantic, sunk in storm. I don't think it sunk. Might have after that. Uh, foul mouth, payout claim of 20,000 pounds. I'm going to assume that's pounds. All cargo loss payout claim of 5,000 pounds. Cargo crown. All cargo loss payout claim for restitution. 3,000 pounds. Captain Robert Wittard. Fate. Suicide gun. Criminal findings. Murder of crewmate. Four. Uh, estate forfeited to the crown. William Hawkust. First mate. Fate. Shot with gun by R. Witter. Criminal findings. Attempted mutiny. Estate fined. 25 pounds. Edward Nichols. Second mate. Fate. Shot. Gun by C. Tan. Criminal findings, murder of two crewmates, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, estimate, estate fine, 100 pounds. Martin Perot, third mate, unknown, findings of merit, extraordinary valor, exceptional performance and duty, the state awarded outstanding wages and reward, 90 pounds. Hmm. John Davis, fort mate, fourth mate, clubbed by Brennan, criminal findings, murder of crewmate, estate fine, 15 pounds. Alfred Kestil, bosun, Torn Apart Beast, Findings of Merit, Exceptional Performance of Duties, State Awarded Outstanding Wages and Reward, 70 pounds. Charles Minor, Bosun's Mate, Drowned, Beast, Criminal Finding, Murder of Crewmates. I mean, it was accidental. Estate Unknown, Expense Claimed, 15 pounds. Henry Evans, Surgeon, Alive, Africa, Findings of Demerit, Abandonment of Crew and Vessel, State Awarded Outstanding Wages... <laughs> I like how they're awarded, because he fucking left. Uh, James Wall, surgeon's mate, decapitated, beast, findings of merit, extraordinary valor, estate awarded, outstanding wages of 50 pounds. Uh, Winston Smith, carpenter, spiked, findings of merit, extraordinary valor, estate awarded, outstanding wages of 60 pounds. Marcus Gibbs, carpenter's mate, spiked, estate unknown, outstanding wages, donated a pension fund, 30 pounds. Thomas Sefton, struck by tail. Estate awarded outstanding wages of 40 pounds. Emil O'Farrell, spiked, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate award outstanding wages and rewarded 40 pounds. Christopher Wolf, gunner, shot, cannon, beast, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate award outstanding wages 70 pounds. Gunner's mate, uh, shot by Jay Davies, criminal findings, murder of crewmate 1, attempted mutiny, estimate, estate fine 50 pounds. Duncan McKay, purser. Drowned. Beast. Findings of detriment. Abandoned crew and vessel. Awarded outstanding wages, 70 pounds. I like how they abandon the crew and vessel and they're awarded. It's like, fucking, yeah, it was probably wise to ditch that sinking ship. Finn Dalton, helmsman. Drowned. Beast. Estate awarded outstanding wages, 30 pounds. Edward Spratt, artist. Crushed by beast. Estate awarded outstanding wages of 50 pounds. Abigail Hawkust Wittard. Passenger. Crushed by beast. No claim made. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, I mean, she was the wife of the guy who shot himself. Uh, Nuzio Pasca, passenger. Knife by E. Nichols, no claim made. That's kind of mean. Emily Jackson, alive after criminal findings, murder of crewmate one, finding detriment, abandonment of crew, and vessel. Estate fined 35 pounds. Bit mean. Miss Jane Bird, alive after findings of detriment, abandoned of crew, and vessel, fined 10 pounds. Bulan Lim, passenger. Claude, no claim made. Il Ben Som, passenger. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate one. Really? Estate unknown. Expense claimed, 25 pounds. Well, that seems odd. Why is it? Okay. Are they... Why is it in a box like that? Oh, can I claim that? No. I don't know why it's just in a box like that. None of the others were. Ahem. Chiotan. Spiked, criminal findings, murder of crewmates, estimate, estate unknown, expense claimed. Uh, uh, Hooks and Lao, shotgun, H. Brennan, no claim made. Uh, Zungi Satai, the steward, shotgun with Charles Minor, state award, outstanding wages, 35 pounds. I can't claim that. Yeah. Helped all, Captain Stewart, unknown, criminal findings, murder of crewmate one, findings, detriment, failure, performer of duties, state fine, 35 pounds. 
Paul Moss, First Mate Stewart. Killed Sword by L. Volkov. Findings of Merit. <coughs> Exceptional Performance of Duties Estate awarded. Outstanding Wages, 45 pounds. Samuel Galligan, Second Mate Steward. Knifed. Um, by I. Sai. Criminal Findings, Attempted Mutiny. Theft of Cargo, Estate Fine, 50 pounds. Roderick Anderson, Third Mate Stewart. Crushed by Cannon. Estate awarded Outstanding Wages of 10 pounds. Davy James, Fourth Mate Stewart. Alive Africa, Findings of Detriment. Abandonment of Croon Vessel, No Claim Made. And lastly, Peter Milroy, Exploded. Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Valor, Estate Award, Outstanding Wages, 40 pounds. Oh no, there's 23, not 13. Ahem. Alright, uh, Knife to State Awarded, Thomas Lank Knife, Awarded 30. Charles Hershnick, uh, Spiked, Extraordinary Valor, Performance in Line Duty, 50 pounds. Lomite Ghoul, Drowned, Findings of Merit, Exceptional Performance. Fucking Maba better get pay out of his ass, man. Poor Maba. Timothy Burton, Shotgun, Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Valor, Outstanding Wages, 35 pounds. Hung Lee, Findings of Merit, Exceptional Performance, State Awarded. Well, that's nice. The guy that got electrocuted was Extraordinary Valor. Uh, decapitated by Beast, that guy. That's some real Extraordinary Valor. Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Valor, State Awarded, 35. Uh, Lee Hong Topman, Criminal Findings, Attempted Mutiny, Theft of Cargo. Uh, Wei Li, Crushed Beast, Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Valor, Exceptional Performance, Duty, State Awarded. <laughs> Nicholas Botterill. Yep. I remember he gave me some trouble, actually. Uh, state awarded outstanding wages, 25 pounds. Torn apart, findings of merit. Ah, there's Maba. Extraordinary performance line, state unknown, outstanding wages, re land reward, donated to pension fund. Salute to you, Maba. I liked that guy. Miss Walker, clubbed, criminal findings, attempted mutiny, estate fine, 25 pounds. Uh, shotgun, Jackson, criminal finding. This is Leonard Vulcan. Volkov. Murder crewmate 1, estate unknown, expense claim 15. Uh, Alarkus Nikashin. Claude, criminal finding, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, estate fine 50 pounds. Uh, Alexei Toporov. Criminal finding, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, 50 pounds. Nathan Peters. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate, findings of detriment, abandonment of crew and vessel 25 pounds. Lars Lindell, club, estate awarded 15 pounds. John Naples, Killed by Sword, Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Performance and Learned Duty, Award 25. Illness, Estate Unknown, Outstanding, 15 pounds. Uh, Abraham Akbar, Crushed Beast, Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Performance, Outstanding, 25. William Wasson, Fell Down the Stairs, <laughs> Exceptional Performance in Line of Duty, Falling Down Those Stairs. He was awarded 25 pounds. Salman Side, uh, Illness, 15 pounds. Uh, spiked, Extraordinary Performance, 25 pounds. Uh, Brenton, knifed, state fined, because he murdered a crewmate, and attempted mutiny. Alexander Booth, drowned, findings of detriment. Yeah, he abandoned crew. Uh, only five pounds, though. Yeah. Uh, Patrick O'Hague, in spear, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, 50 pounds. George Shirley, fell overboard, extraordinary valor, award 25. Samuel Peters, crushed by cargo, award 15. Uh, preliminary draft assessment is approved by the Royal Trade... Guarantor. On behalf of the Honorable Lisa, I certify a total claim 29,285 pounds. There's my signature. Alright. I'm just gonna make this one big finale. Pocket watch remains in your possession. Lovely. The book returns to the original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. I still really admire that uh, if you get the fail game, it tells you Henry Evans and Jane Bird or whatever their names are are alive in Morocco. And that everyone on that ship made it. Unlike the Nathan Peters expedition, which uh, ended poorly. One year later. Took him a year? Come on, I filled out the book. There's my tea. Ah, a dark and stormy night. Tis on nights like this I think of the Obra Din, a truly doomed vessel. Doomed indeed. Would you shut up? I'm trying to narrate. Ahem, a doomed vessel of tragedy right from the start. You see, it all starts.
What? Oh wow, in the good ending I have more tea. Anyway, um, what have we got? Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He's come to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your comprehensive and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three that remain, the Ober Din is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. I mean... That shit's gonna stay with you. You're not gonna forget that particular journey. Let's be fair here. Alright, so what became of these two guys? What was the means to solve it? Okay, yes, we saw that. There's the old book. Ah, the old book. Tale begins with belongs with you. Please finish it. Ah. Bargain. Okay. That would be a hand. Whoa! He just fucking shotgunned a dude. He shot the monkey! Shot the monkey. They keep trying to steal that damn cargo. I was wondering what happened to that monkey. Oh, I shot his pet monkey. This guy's dead with, like, what appears to be spikes through him. This dude's not much better off. Okay. What, so we start with the monkey? I'm a fantastic sketch artist. Yep, monkey. A friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. <sighs> Indeed. So, you're no doubt, yes. And who are you? That didn't tell me anything. Well... We know who he is. I also know how he died, thank you. And you're the steward. It's just you two boys, eh? Well, back we go. Shame about the monkey. Over. 
So, I'm guessing what happened is, uh, yeah, there's a, uh, the mermaid was alive and they gave her the shell. That glowing thing I was seeing out there was the shell, because she saw the ship home, just everyone on it was dead. Well, the bargain, huh? Well, he died. It's a bold move, I'll give him that. A desperate and bold move. <sighs> he was spiked. As you are. Who else is here? Wait, who is in on this? I want to know. So, the first mate, Stuart. And the fourth mate, Stuart, who made it alive and in Africa. You were killed. Ah, oh, yes, trying to escape with them. Right, right. What? What? I see. Well, that sounds pleasant. Get it now. Well, he got he got Dunn's. Well, maybe he wasn't Dunn's beard. Don't even know what that is. Huh? So, you're the captain. Yep, spearing them. You're the captain, Stewart. Huh. Well. I'm beginning to see what happened here. I'll give you my plot summary uh, when we've identified all the fates, but... Um, yes! This is not a pretty image. The captured beast fought against his jailer and was speared for the trouble. Another one? Good lord, man. Come on. Just take me to that guy already. Call it off, damn you. This is your Kraken. You brought it here. Send it back. Well, that one was shot. Apparently they caught three of them. Why do they even have this thing set up? Just seems silly. Ah, that's his hat. Okay, that's what that is. And again, are we actually, you know, gonna... He's chained there. Are we actually gonna get to, you know, see what happened? Not only creatures to fight, shrieks are greeted with a fatal bullet. It's an interesting way of phrasing it. About damn time. I'm waiting for this guy for like three memories now. Dumbass, stick his hand in Quicksilver? What'd you do that for, you idiot? Yeah, he did. It was a stupid thing to do. Dumbass, jammed his arm in Quicksilver. You don't do that. Well, he was burned.
Yeah, we get it. Can we hurry this along? We have places to be. We have a plot to wrap up. We're done. Nice achievement. All fates correct. Philip Dahl, Stuart burned to death. And Martin Perot, third mate, spiked by a terrible beast. Thus the bargain. All right, to, to sum up then, the journey of the Oberdin. We leave London. And we're immediately off to a flying start when Samuel Peters is crossed by some falling cargo, as well as a stowaway who is in a barrel. It's a brilliant start, but we press on along the coast of Portugal. Uh, at this point, turns out uh, two of the Indian men uh, had a tragic illness, and in the bitter cold, sort of succumb to their illness. Uh, we also butchered a cow. But uh, yes, the two Indian men... Uh, Solomon and Renfrid uh, succumbed to a tragic illness and died, unfortunately. Things don't get interesting until we reach the Canary Islands, in which, uh, while looking for, uh, wondering what the, um, the Oberdin set out with, uh, some guys from Formosa transporting some precious cargo, i.e. these shells, I think. Uh, the... An individual, I believe, the second mate, got curious, went to see what they were after knocking one of them out, uh, and while discovering what they were, was uh, discovered by Nunzio, who he murdered. Uh, he framed the murder on Hook Sen Lao, uh, who probably confessed so that, you know, his lady that he was charged with guarding wouldn't be, you know, uh, brutalized, victimized, targeted, whatever. Um... And while the third mate and crew were escaping, they ended up shooting this individual, just in the scuffle. Uh, sailing quickly away from the Canary Islands with cargo and prisoners in tow. Uh, unfortunately, the mermaids, who the shells I'm guessing belonged to, uh, were able to sense them on, you know, just little lifeboats rather than, say, the proper Oberdin, which had, you know, more shielding and such. Uh, they kicked off when they speared this individual, speared him, uh, the, the man from Formosa broke free, knifed this individual, uh, her throat was ripped out by one of the mermaids, uh, in an act of desperation, he opened the, uh, thing and shoved his arm in, I'm guessing, and apparently a blood sacrifice is all that's needed to kill mermaids, so that's kind of interesting. Uh... Sort of seeing that uh, everything was doomed and shitty, he went back to the Oberdin and was shot by the remaining guy from Formosa. Kind of justifiably, let's say. Uh, these two were also dragged underwater and uh, subsequently killed. However, their corpses were unretrievable. Uh, at this point, I believe they kind of start turning around, or at least sailing away from the Canary Islands, as... Uh, He's explaining about, trying to explain about the shells. Um, the tail of a mermaid goes off and spikes him and the man that was holding him, tragically. Uh, he comes in saying, ah, oh, we could cook them up. And uh, the mermaids, who are apparently alive, decide that's a bit cheeky and smack him so hard in the face he dies. Uh, he fell down the stairs and broke his neck while transporting them. Just a bit of bad luck. Uh, he was killed by the... Philip Dahl... Ah, yes. Um, the Swede understood the danger, I'm guessing, and in an act of desperation and maybe just lapse of judgment, murdered this individual. Uh, we get to here, at which point we've started to turn around in a desperate move to head home. Uh, he just bad luck, struck by lightning. Uh, and then the real tragedy strikes when I'm guessing chums of the mermaids, allies... Uh, show up in an attempt to free them. And he was spiked by a terrible beast. Spiked by a terrible beast. They're fond of the spikes. They were decapitated by the beast's claws. Uh, he was also spiked. Spiked. 
Uh, he sustained injuries and crawled away behind deck and might have survived, except Charles Minor had the unfortunate luck of um, aiming a little low when pointing at the beast and ended up shooting him in the gut. Uh, also spiked, but fought bravely, damn it. Uh, after that, they I'm guessing they assumed the worst was over and were beginning to make their way more back home, but uh, turns out the mermaids are sort of vengeful like that. So, uh, he was simply clubbed by Nathan Peters for the tragedy that was uh, his Samuel Peters' brother being uh, killed earlier. Um, then the Kraken starts by crushing the artist with its tentacles, uh, crushed Abraham Akbar, uh, grabbed a cannon and unfortunately pointed at that guy after it was set off, and he fell overboard. Again, I'm not really sure about that one. Uh, crushed by a loose cannon when it fell on top of him. Uh, he was caught in an explosion of gunpowder or some such, I don't know. Poor Maba was torn apart by a beast. Uh, she was crushed by a terrible beast when he knocked over some rigging. Uh, drowned by a terrible beast, I'm guessing picked up and thrown in the water. Uh, they went out on a lifeboat, but the lifeboat was attacked, no doubt, as they were all drowned by a terrible beast. Uh, drowned, drowned, drowned. These were all poor individuals who were picked up and just hucked into the water. Uh, and yes, the bargain. So, he, chained up in the hold with the mermaids and the shell, um, decides to see what it is, finds Quicksilver and jams his arm in it because he's a moron. Uh, Kraken's attacking, uh, and the captain decides that uh, he's going to murder the mermaids uh, unless they call off the Kraken, because he assumes the Kraken is there for them. Uh, shoots one, spears another. Uh, the last one apparently called him off. So, I guess she agreed. Uh, he goes down to free and make a bargain to see the Oberdin safely home. Unfortunately, she um, misunderstood that and spiked him, I'm guessing. Uh, friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. And I'm guessing he killed the monkey and kept his hand so that he could uh, keep and tell this story. During the escape, uh, he succumbed to his injuries where his arm was ripped off. Uh, these guys were planning a mutiny. Or no, these guys were trying to escape and he got killed by uh, old Leonold there. Uh, in return, he was shot by Emily Jackson. Uh, he was shot uh, when he murdered a man. He was clubbed after he shot the guy who murdered a man. Uh, he got knifed after he discovered the mutiny. Uh, they're both alive in Africa. He's dead now, but, you know, they were alive in Africa. And the end, with only a couple of them left and not that much. How? That's escape, so they sailed a little bit, and then they were fed up with it. Uh, Captain, open the door, lest we break down and take more than those shells. So they wanted the shells because they're clearly valuable. Um, he responded by shooting him. He responded by then knifing him, he responded by clubbing him, and then he shot himself. Which, you know, poor Louis War, he almost made it to the end. <sighs> and as per her promise, uh, or the bargain, or whatever you want to call it, the mermaid did see its home, and that glowing light off in the distance does suggest it was the shell, because the mermaid saw the ship home. And sank in the storm immediately after, but, uh, she saw it home. Suppose it's time to leave the Oberdin behind. I'm not controlling this. Ah. Putting the finished tale of the Oberdin in my collection. The end. Bravo! That was very good. I like that game quite a bit. Programming, design, art, sound, music, Lucas Pope for my dad. Ah, that's a nice Lucas Pope. Special thanks to those people. Taiwanese language consultants are these guys. Localization management is Jose. German localization was Rolf 
Klinschke. French was words of magic. Brazilian was... I'm not even going to try with that one. Russian was Katarina Florinska. Japanese localization was those guys. Italian localization... Ah, this isn't a lot of languages. Spanish localization. Polish localization. Why Polish? Testing. Hansen Chu. Character voicing. Robert... Rob Townsend? Really? And Jeffrey Pillars. Let's see if we recognize any other names. Robert Townsend. Who knew? James McCready. That name kind of rings a bell. Chris Sharps. Nick Smith. Luke's Pope do any of the voices? I didn't even know that guy had a voice. Ryan Lawton. Ian Russell. Russell's my father's name. That's a Frenchman, I think. Or Poirot. Eh, Poirot. Finnegan Luis. Ian Russell again. Michael Drew. Kiran Pata Patil. Debbie McCready. Again, I'm not going to try pronouncing these names. Yufu Lin. Jay Jai Lin. Tim Simmons. Michelle Krusiek. Nikita Ordinatsky. Apparently he went to great lengths to hire... Uh, Seamus Maley. Uh, he went to great lengths to hire... Um, <laughs> people who would have accents and know the languages. Stephen Fu. Uh, Joshua Nicholson. Which, good on him. How come Polish keeps getting... Is there just a big video a boat puller? Is there just a huge like uh, language consultant saying Hindi, Hindi, and UK English. Swedish, Danish, and Russian. Is there just a cute monkey? Oh, that's animated models. Uh... So, yeah. Are there just... huge gaming network in Poland that I'm not aware of? And that's why Poland keeps getting brought up in, like, localization? Well. So, fun fact, when you complete the game... Last played three minutes ago, eight hours. You can never really play it again. Unlike, and now that you've watched all this, you can't play it either. Unlike Papers, Please, which is always different and has, you know, some good replay value. We know what happened. We know every person. We know how they died. Obviously, I don't remember, you know, up here in the old dome how they died. But uh, I'm never going to be like, ah, oh, this guy was Russian and he was on top and he was speaking Russian. Uh, this guy was sitting with these dudes, so he, it's, that's, it's not just going to, it's not going to happen. Yeah, well. What a story. I like that. It's a good method of telling a story. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. I've been Tokenline. Talk to you later, shooting our shares, and see you around Asklands. When we come back, uh, new game.